Nyozhan Milwaukee and welcome to our October edition of Nyozhan Milwaukee TV. And we welcome you to our new studio. I am Malia Zhang. The word Nyozhan means hello in the Hmong language. It is used to welcome or greet people. So Nyozhan and welcome again to our show. With the 2020 presidential election just around the corner, today we focus our show heavily on the election. We will get insights about voting and why it is so important to let your voice be heard. We will have Ning Nao on set to talk about who he is supporting in the presidential election and why he is campaigning for this individual as President of the United States. We have Wang Yu Vu, the only Hmong American national delegate for Joe Biden, to talk about exercising your right to vote as a Hmong American citizen. We then will share with you how the staff and scholars at Hmong American Peace Academy are adjusting to this COVID-19 pandemic, and also hear HAPA's Executive Director, Chris Herzong, talk about the school's new building and facilities. We will also have important community news to announce, including the state of COVID-19 cases here in Wisconsin. Please note that this information is current on the date of taping, which is October 16, 2020. For current information about COVID-19, please visit cdc.gov and dhs.wisconsin.gov. He has traveled all around the world creating and telling stories of diverse cultures from a Hmong American perspective. His videos are generating millions of views on YouTube and his Facebook page is inching close to 60,000 followers. Not only that, he is a public figure that advocates for civic engagement through politics. Neng Tao, who we all know better as Neng Nao, visited our studio to talk about why he is supporting the Biden-Harris campaign. Let's see what he has to say. It's time to go home. To a place we once knew. A country of kindness and compassion. Empathy and community. Tolerance and generosity. Integrity and hope. It's time to stand together in a place called America. The place we all call home. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris know the way. Let's go together. It's the only way we can go forward and build back better. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Ocho,ocalusi ตอกก็ยมูเรจิสเตอร์เอ Bomba 
ขอปอมบานอมานิจิงเจ๋งดีให้เตียปีศาจให้เตียเจ้าหลัวลิกัวเจ้าชิตอมมปนเนี่ยเจ้าชิตอมมมิญัวถอดไปมุกคือเป็
ทออบามาลออพรีเซนต์มาลอเฮเตอออบามาลอยอลอเกเปจอพอแต่ซีจอนนี่นู่นเนาะเป็นจึงมั่วพอเนี่ยขอบายเดนเทเฮอร์ซ
This summer, we caught up with Wang Yuvu to talk about the power of voting and why you should vote as a Hong American U.S. citizen. Let's go see what he has to say in this interview with Tai Yang. <laughs> Democratic Party no to the no lu power la lu ju ke to sho lu pam ba ho mo jin bo ya be to the chan no ti ya ni ma mo i ya de o ja be se san sa yo pam ba no se to ko de be chi pam ba na e be chi tong kan pam ba la na be chi tong kan wo san sa ni yo ko la u de privilege le yi zong mo ni mo zo jai ni mo you say say to not to do la you mo jai bo ma to you say say to do that ni lu shi mo zhong to you know you bo to ko sa fai la lu to be jo ni zi ni to ba to che chi ya de ni to lu san ni na wisconsin la ya mini so la su ta shi tong dan to de ta mi ga che de ni ya pa ka mi tu la ni chi ta ta na ko che ya de mo kra the Republican independent and to your name more bar, name more, you know, high dear, name more chaco y song, name more such a bomba, talk on name of bomba, maybe, bitch more bomba, the pataku high, tetaka high door, to lure a natural donor, lure a city, good city, the tag, you turn a you watch down in that, you watch down the tag, you move turn, you turn no more dear, go watch down a large dollar, that's your gum bomba, you can say she do share, they go sad, the cashada, the behind the moon. Uh, Democrat, especially to Vice President Joe Biden, the Nyaho Thank you again, Wang Yu, for your time and thank you for encouraging and empowering our Hmong community to let their voice be heard through the power of voting. Stay with us, we'll be right back. ชิงเพจชิงเก้งจากโควิดกับกลัวลิกาเนื้อจะเขาเนื้อวากีน้องเทสต์อัพเอ็มเคอียอดขอเชิญเด้อถ้าก็มุ่งใช้เทสต์อ
Papa, opened in 2004 with about 200 students. Our first graduating class was um, about 25 students. Pretty soon we will be graduating students, a class of probably 150 students. And so we are growing. We've grown almost 700% with our enrollment. And because of that, we are not only growing with our enrollment, but expanding facilities uh, to meet the growing number of our students. Our largest enrollment is in the primary grades with about 600 students in kindergarten through second grade, followed by intermediate and middle school and high school. Our high school enrollment is about uh, 400 students this year. We're projecting that our high school will grow to about 700 to 800 students. And so with the growth, we made an investment to build a new high school building that is about 100,000 square feet with about 38 classrooms and we will be able to serve 900 students in that new building. The whole project costs about $30 million and we are also building a cafeteria that will feed 2,100 meals every day daily so that we could serve all of our students. We will be able to cook Hmong food and other ethnic food so that we could serve the nutrition to our families so that it would be healthier. We also have a resource center coupled with a cafe very much like Starbucks and then we have a Hmong museum that's built in and so with the Hmong culture artifacts we will infuse that in throughout the entire building. We broke ground on the new project in May of this year and so we are on target to complete the project in July of 2021 and make this a community center for our people here in the city of Milwaukee. We learn a lot from this spring about health and safety, but more importantly, how to educate our children and continue to serve our uh, Hmong children here. We handle it by A, listening to our parents, what are their needs, how could we address some of the challenges, particularly the inequality of technology along with internet access. And so on March 16th, when we closed the school, we realized only about 25% of our students have laptops or Chromebooks to do their online learning. So we then quickly had to invest in 1,300 Chromebooks, which is um, overall, it's about a million dollar in an investment to technology so that all of our students will have a Chromebook or a laptop to do their virtual learning, along with offering uh, mobile hotspots to our children because we recognize that just giving them a Chromebook or a laptop is not enough. If they don't have access to tech, to internet, they cannot do the online learning. And so we invest in quite a bit of uh, money and resources into the mobile hotspot for our children so that they can have unlimited data along with the speed. And so uh, that is a huge investment in terms of technology. We just did a lot of looking at what do we need to equip our teachers with so that they can be the very best uh, uh, teacher for their students and how could we equip the families so that they have the equipment to learn. So we invested not only in Chromebooks, a mobile hotspot, Spot, but headphones, uh, um, uh, 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 case protections, and things of that nature so that our students can truly uh, take advantage of the uh, virtual learning. We are very proud of this new building. It represents the hopes and dreams of our parents and grandparents. It's so much more than Zahapa. It's about our community. Uh, our, our parents and grandparents want a better life for their children and that education is a pathway to moving out of poverty and, and having a better life. And so we believe that uh, uh, this building will offer some hopes and dreams for all of our community not only to educate our children, but to be a center for our community, for gathering, for think uh, tank, and to uh, better ourselves in, in many ways. 
Thank you, Chris, for allowing us to see what's going on at HAPA. Congratulations and best of luck on HAPA's new expansion. We appreciate your leadership in improving our community through educating our children. Stay with us, we'll be right back. It's time to go home. To a place we once knew. A country of kindness and compassion. Empathy and community. Tolerance and generosity. Integrity and hope. It's time to stand together in a place called America. The place we all call home. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris know the way. Let's go together. It's the only way we can go forward and build back better. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Welcome back. Here's what's going on in our community. The Mo Wisconsin Chamber of Commerce will be hosting their 14th Annual Business Award celebration virtually this year due to COVID-19. So mark your calendar and save the date for November 20th at 6 p.m. as they will feature and present all of this year's award winners. The Chamber's keynote speaker for this year is our very own award-winning Hong Chef, Ye Feng, and there will also be many other special guest appearances. Chef Feng will also entertain everyone by giving a cooking demonstration of a holiday recipe. So gather your family together to watch and celebrate our businesses across the state and beyond. Not only that, Mon Wisconsin Chamber of Commerce is hosting a logo competition for its organization where the winner will win $1,000. It also includes a one-year premium membership to the Chamber. The deadline is October 28th. For more information on this competition and the Virtual Business Awards event, please visit Nyoja Milwaukee or Mon Wisconsin Chamber's Facebook page. New Year's celebration is a time to celebrate the end of harvest for our Hmong community. With this pandemic, these face-to-face -face celebrations have been canceled. But don't lose faith, the Hmong American Center, Freedom Inc., along with Nyaja Milwaukee TV, will bring to you the Wisconsin Hmong New Year into your homes virtually on the December 19th starting at 10 a.m. So join us for a day of dance and original song competitions, along with much more Hmong culture entertainment and interactions from across the nation. So on that day, put on your favorite Hmong wardrobe and join us virtually in the comfort and safety of your own home. The month of October has been a record breaker for COVID-19 cases in Wisconsin, with day records shattering 3,000 cases. With the nation's eye on Wisconsin, health officials predict that rises in COVID-19 cases will get worse before getting better, according to the Health Service Secretary, Andrea Pong. Hospitals are packing up with coronavirus patients as the state prepares alternate care facilities to help relieve overcrowded hospitals with lower-level patient care. On October 15th, Governor Evers stated during his COVID-19 update, the longer it takes for everyone to take the virus seriously, the longer it will take for our economy and communities to get back on track. Nyoja Milwaukee wants to remind everyone to follow CDC guidelines to keep you, your family, and our community healthy and safe. Please wear your mask in public places, do not join mass gatherings, wash your hands with soap and clean and sanitize items you frequently touch. For current safety tips and information, please visit cdc.gov and dhs.wisconsin.gov. We thank you again for joining us today. Please follow us on our Facebook page and watch our past stories on our YouTube channel. Until next time, we wish everyone good health and may our community be blessed and inspired. Stay safe and don't forget to vote. See you again soon.